Too little sun or something. I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. Hello. In this video, I will be showing you how I animate objects in Procreate Dreams. I will only show how to use the tools in Dreams to replicate the Flash animation style, and not really a tutorial of how to animate objects for beginners. I really recommend watching tutorials made by the BFDI animation team and Busketball, as they make very good tutorials on how to animate objects. If I made anything unclear, you can always ask in the comments. Alright, let's get into it. Too little sun or something. I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. Open dreams and create a new project. Recommend 1920 by 1080 pixels and set up your character. I like to use this order for the setup. After that, I draw all the other limbs to match the order how I want it to. This is what I've got so far. Too little sun or something. I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. Make the face a group, and then group it with the rest of the upper body. Then I twin with the move and scale tool with linear easing. We will use linear for now so we can make custom-made twins. There isn't custom-made twins, but it was mentioned to be added in the future. So for now, we will add two keyframes and tween them linear, then add another keyframe in the middle, and then we can tween them with ease in and ease out to get different looking tweens than the ease in and ease out tween. little sun or something. I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. For animating the arms, you can use a special technique found if you want to work faster without having to expand move and scale a single time let's say you want to twee in this ball let's call him bob you set out your keyframes and stretch bob and you put bob's ease to ease out but then you want another keyframe after the second one with bob being more squished and sets the ease to ease in but now the whole thing got set to ease in because you used the ease all option instead of easing it in expand move and scale you want to do this Draw another object on a new track, to not mistake it for Bob. Let's call the new object Larry. Set two key frames at the start and the end of Larry. Now, you can set all easings on Larry, and we will set ease in. Then, we add a new keyframe at Bob, and squashes him. And now, the second ease on Bob is automatically set to ease in, without ruining the first. We will do it some more times. Set ease out on Larry, and then add a new keyframe on Bob. After that, Move and scale pop how you want, and repeat with other eases. And now we have a new bob with different eases, without expanding move and scale a single time, all thanks to Larry. I really recommend doing this if you're using distort or wrap. You don't want to ease 16 different points, unless you want to go through hell. I sometimes add a little smear frame if needed. 
10 or something. I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. For the eyes and mouth, just make sure that the anchor point is right. If you twin an object, but the anchor point was wrong, it's no problem. Just fix it, and the twin will automatically change with it. For lip syncing, draw the mouths you need, and then copy and paste them to where it matches the audio. When twinning them, make the first twin and set the easing to ease out. The other mouths you only have to twin. The rest of the easing will automatically be set to ease out. Too little sun or something. I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. This is optional, but you can also tween the group to get a more bouncy look. Too little sun or something. I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. For the legs, I first draw two markings to show where the legs are going to connect. Then I set the legs' anchor point on their heel. After that, I select Distort and twin it with the rest of the body by using the other technique before. Too little sun or something? I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. And that's it. But one thing I personally like to do is to group the whole thing and make it more bouncy. It also makes it more look cartoony in my opinion. To make the bounce I am doing right now, set the anchor point at the bottom of the object. Add to keys off, move and scale, and add to other points in the middle. The first one being more squashed, and the second being more stretched out. I am used the ease in and out easing. It doesn't look the best on the ball. But since Fry's is already animated, it will look better. You can squash and stretch it more or less. This one became more, a little too much. Too little sun or something? I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. Too little sun or something? I was thinking the same thing, but tennis ball. Oh, tennis ball. He developed this new strain called Grow Tatoes that can still grow with slightly less sun. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye now.